Hey guys, I'm very excited and thrilled to tell you that I'm 100% thrift free now. Like literally every single plant here, I don't have any more concern, which I'm thankful because it's very annoying. And I'm about to tell you what I did on how to get rid of those thrifts. Hey guys, it's me again, Abel. How are you doing? So for this video, I am going to share with you how I got rid of my thrifts and what I did to prevent them from coming back. My plans have been or struggled because of thrifts and I don't know what to do. If you guys have this past in your plans, it's very annoying and at the same time, you will be and so depressed that you don't know what to do because every single day you wake up in the morning you will see that thrips they keeps multiplying like I don't know how they multiply but I believe in one day a thrip can multiply like tons so if you guys remember I did a video about the products and how to get rid of thrips, but didn't work. Like, literally didn't work. Like, I don't know what to do after that. I had a big Anthuriums, I had a big Monstera, Thai Constellation, like name it, all the good ones. Thrips killed it. Even my Anthurium Rugulosum, and my philodendron um, serpents like all the good ones I have if you guys are following me on my Instagram you will see or you will find the post the pictures that I posted on my Instagram and all of those are like memory memories now like I am very very sad but I just woke up one day and I told myself this is enough like I don't know what to do like I keep researching reading watching YouTube on how to kill thrips and how to prevent from coming back but I don't have any solution one day I woke up and I decided to check every single plants I have and man like you know I I don't know what to do like, I feel like I don't want to collect anymore because it's very bad. Like, the infestation is very bad. And I told Mikey, I don't know what to do. I, you know, it cost me a lot of money. And if I throw this one, I'll buy it again, which it'll take some time for me to have it uh, a fully beautiful plant. I don't know. Um, I just woke up one day and I decided to check every single plant I have and you guys like literally every single plant I have aside from the tetrasperma they have thrips like I don't know what to do I feel like the um, strategies I did it didn't work the products I bought it didn't work like can you see guys my corner in here um, even if I place them far from each other they keep coming back but before anything else this happened when i got i believe the philodendron then i got that from walmart and i wasn't you know i wasn't aware about thrifts i don't have i don't have any knowledge about pests I just want to show you how it started way back 2017 springtime i saw this one plant in the Walmart not knowing how to you know check if there's any past on it it's really beautiful I thought it's very rare like I don't know I, I don't don't judge me I don't have any idea when it comes to rare plants before and I don't even know what's air raids in philodendron and anthuriums so I saw this plant and I don't know what's the name I told Mikey, I have to I have to buy it because it's pretty cool. Like we can put this in our living room. So we got it in the house and then after a month, and that's where I started, um, we place it by our couch, 
our couch here in the living room area and we saw this really tiny white so when i checked the back of the leaf oh my god you guys i you will like blown away of how many thrips are in that plant i wasn't aware that that's a pest i thought it's just like a normal you know normal color or normal stuff at the back of the leaf i didn't research i didn't ask anyone or i didn't even ask my friend to cut the story short i placed it by the couch and then i keep buying plants and then it started with my my pothos and then after pothos i have my my pili and then like a lot of plants i bought i don't even know what are those now i think i have the enjoy and then it started with the alocasia dragon so i thought i don't have any more thrips i decided to bring it out because it's summertime i don't know what that plant can do inside of of the living room because you know i have a baby and at the same time i have a cat so we decided to place it outside but then i didn't realize that even if even if i place it outside there are thrips now in the plants or some plants i have here and then i didn't realize to check every single plants after that then I found out some rare plants on Instagram and then I started to buy rare plants. I keep buying, not every single month, but you know, after a couple of months, I have to buy again. And then I have to go, you know, different nurseries here close by me just to buy another plant again. I feel like I'm a hoarder without me not thinking t what's the pros and cons it got into the point that after i place that certain plants which is the philodendron bifinophallum i believe i place it outside then didn't realize i have the thrips already in some plants next is me alocasia poli not the dragon but the alocasia po poli Next is me, Alocasia poli. And at the pack of the Alocasia, I saw a lot of thrips. And at the same time, you know the spider web? And I'm like, what the heck is this? Like, I don't know what to do. After thrips, I have that spider web. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in my head. Like, I keep buying plants and I'm not even thinking about pests. Like, I don't know how to distinguish them. That's the thing. I bought a lot of plants, international, and that's the rare plants. And you guys, like, I don't know what's happening with me that time. Like, every single plant I have, I don't even, I don't even know how to look after them. And I keep... I keep on buying and then I'm not even paying attention to them because they have best so yeah it sucks but I had to throw them so I, I threw the plants I had and then after a couple of months I believe I thought everything's gone and then I bought a, pr a product from the local nursery the uh, Schultz spray I thought it will it will prevent or it will kill the thrips in my plants but nope it didn't do anything like nothing like hey like I told you guys after a day if you swipe it out they'll keep coming back and they'll keep coming back more like more I don't know what to do I don't know um yeah so I had a video about the shots products and if you see I have a big anthurium and that's the hybrid that I have unfortunately I had to let go of the leaves because 
it keeps turning yellow it keeps on you know um, the pest keeps on eating the leaves so it's deforming just cut it out what I did to get rid of my thrips first woke up in the morning check every single plant I have and then decided to buy a new cocoa core medium and then I repotted everything like every single thing and then the next one I did I washed well before I what before placing the um, or repotting the uh, plants I washed the leaves thoroughly I didn't use any soap because I had a, you know incident I washed the plants with soap and it turned I mean the leaves turned turn brown and they like started to give me some problems so don't use any soap any kind of soap so the second I, second thing I did after repotting after re, after washing all the leaves um, I cut all the leaves that have a but I cut I cut um, or I remove I cut or remove all I cut I cut and remove all the um, bad leaves I have like those leaves that it has uh, it has deformity on it those leaves that has yellow brown like name it all those things the ugly <laughs> the ugly plants which it went down to the stem only like I'm so 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 crazy to just get rid of all the thrips yes so I'm gonna I'm about to show you what happened to the anthuriums don't be shocked but I am very happy now because they're starting to grow again and also I decided to place my anthuriums in sphagnum moss because I feel like from coco core they're growing but at the same time it's not growing fast compared to sphagnum moss so stay tuned so these guys are my anthuriums and as you can see I have my anthurium warokianum I don't know how you say it correctly but that's how I heard from my friend and from other people but if you guys have found that I'm saying it cor incorrectly please let me know and you can let me know what's the correct uh, pronunciation of the scientific name and this guy is my little it's like the hybrid um anthurium i have but it's the name of this one but i'm glad that it's growing now so as you can see i place my anthurium and of course i have the the um coco core behind or behind but on top of it i play some sphagnum moss which i found it very fast like they grow really fast and this one here is my anthurium ace of a spade which i have here growing now and that little guy over there i don't know if you can see it clearly i'm gonna put it right here that's my anthurium um Rugulosum. I cut the big leaf because there's a thrips behind the leaf. Like, uh, it should have at least four leaves by now, but because of that past, didn't really happen. But I'm happy because it started to, you know, it started to grow now and should shoot a new leaf soon hopefully and this one is just keeps on getting bigger don't mind about this hole over here Th this is my anthurium forgety for forgety and then this is my anthurium it looks forgety but this one here has a, a split here in the middle and then what else this guy here that's my biggest anthurium yep that's over there 
And for this one, and for this one, this is my Philodendron Gloriosum. See how glorious it is. It's so pretty. Like this is the new leaf. As you can see, I still have some, I don't know what is that. It's like, you know, the, uh, the liquid, but it's a uh, uh, sticky liquid when the leaf is still opening but it looks so pretty i just want to run down the the veins see how pretty and pretty and gorgeous it is and i supposed to have this one in at least six leaves by now but i keep on taking them out because of the thrips and this is the new i'm sorry this is the old leaf the one i posted with me and yep see how gorgeous it is for this anthurium this is anthurium um vichii I, I don't know what number it is but this is not the king one but that's how it named i'm not quite sure what exactly it is so i don't know what what is happening on the leaf but nope there's no any insect it's just really shiny it's really shiny but I think I burnt it for some reason because I placed it by my window and I had the uh, heater on so maybe that's the cause. And then this little guy over here, my Metallicum Anthurium, it's still not doing anything like haven't producing any um, leaf which is, I don't know, I don't know what's going on but this is very thick, like the leaf is very thick and uh not velvety as much as um the other interims i have so guys that's basically what i did to get rid of my thrips first i repot my like every single plants i have here with my preferred medium which is of course goku core and then i washed the leaves and then cut and remove all deformities and discoloration leaves I have in every plants I have here. I'm not quite sure if it will work for your plants. It might work for me, but I'm not sure if it's going to work to others. So just make sure if you guys are um, doing this um, strategy that I did, just be mindful that you know think about and think about and research first what's the consequences before you do this one because like i said i i am free like 100 percent thrips free now but the cons i don't have the full plants compared to you know fully plants that i have on my instagram that it sucks to end it up like this but you know i had to just for the sake of other plants that i have so if you guys are wanting to try this one please you are you know free by all means do it but please do your research first and also think what's the pros and cons if taking all the leaves and throwing your plants are best to get rid of the thrips Thank you guys for watching that's all for this video i hope you guys like it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and also if you are not following me yet on my instagram my instagram is flanzaniabelle i'll post here somewhere here so you guys can see or probably you'll see just click the link down below and it will lead you to my instagram page so i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye for now